$100,000. So when he was telling the group here, said, look, I'll help you out of this end with the groups that want to come and ask for money for their various causes. But on the other hand, you need to go back and use your budget for outreach. Mm -hmm. Ten years later, that message is still germane to this conversation. It has this time, it's a timeless message. It's, it's not grown up. I mean, it's germane to this conversation. Is that program still available? Um, sure is. I mean, I think uh, the last, when I did a, a public records request to Wendy Grill, okay, uh, there was eight hundred, paid over eight hundred thousand dollars in that account, okay. And I'm going to follow it up already with the new controller, and okay. actually the new controller is very aware of it already. Scott, yeah. Do you have okay. ideas of goals that you want to? Yeah. You and the the thing thing is, what I'm going to say here is that I think what this community needs to be taught is to get involved in dialogue and some structures of dialogue, various on various issues. Whether it's the education committee talking about the restructuring of Wilson High School. The key here is investing our budget in creating a structure to bring and facilitate that dialogue. Mm -hmm. Okay, we had an issue where we had a meeting here, and it worked out greatly. And what we did was we facilitated dialogue. I think we had 50 people come out. We we set up for people to get their comments on the issue. It was structured. It was a sensitive issue too. It was structured in a way to keep the any antagonism at a bare minimum. At the end of the day, people committed the process. Right. And what we did too is we recorded audio and it's also on YouTube. Because at the end of the day, with, with social media now, and you have to embrace a, a group, a neighborhood council, any sort of governmental organization has to embrace technology. Okay, because so that, I'm, I'm that's what we have. Okay, okay, so to put in one sentence, what we need to invest our money in this budgetary cycle is creating that structure that's endemic to this community to bring out participation. Well, and that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what you talk, but do you yeah. have any ideas, like should there be more focus on social media? That would be a goal. Well, we, we are incorporating that already with the website. But what we need to do is actually have the various committees work on a dialogue campaign that would not issues. That, that's, that's, okay. but I, I think, I'm well, well, well here, well, yeah. well, I've been real quick, okay? That issue that we discussed brought out 50 people, okay? Which McConaughey is giving you a number for our meeting. And everybody was, the process was objective. And I think that's what this council needs to do more is engage the community in a dialogue. I think sometimes we, we only engage when people want something, but I think the committees need to do more outreach on specific issues within their jurisdiction to create that outreach. So in a sense, we have to refine the structure that works well in our community in order to, to grow that process. Okay, and I, but I'm trying to get this into something right. that you can do something. I understand what he's saying. So, like, what, 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 what do you have? What, what, what? Yeah, yeah, that, we're creating yeah. more dialogue with actual issues that are germane to the neighborhood council, correct? Exactly. And, uh, and right. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. right. okay. so, and then I'd like to ask you some questions. Because you're sitting there quiet in that. And I like to engage you though, if you don't, if you don't mind, no. because I think you probably have some great ideas. You just come in back, but let, let Anthony go first, and then we'll have you. Uh, listening to what Scott has, has to mention, and I appreciate your guys' efforts in coming here today and, and guiding us on what we could do for outreach purposes. I've been the president of the neighborhood council, and I'm the treasurer. And the position is not just so much outreach, because there are stakeholders, there is businesses, there are the public that are aware of who we are. I believe what we need to do as a, as a neighborhood council is create our very own events, programs, projects that we can take titleship of. What we do is we're all of a sudden the piggy bank and someone comes with a million thousand dollars and they take off to Wilson High School. And we need two thousand dollars for another chair to stop there. That so what it is we'll 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 is because we need to do the house. So what you're saying is you want your neighborhood your neighborhood council to take ownership of projects and programs that's that you're not currently doing now? Because that's, why, we're that's, 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 that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get away from the, you know, these five minutes we two took us. Because we're just trying to get ideas here. I think that's better than that's not flyers. Because when people see stuff, yeah, that's, that's, you have, that's a great idea. idea. Let me right, you got it. It's in here. Anything else? Can you tell me how you worded that? Like ownership yeah. of projects and programs Jermaine. Uh, let me think. Jermaine, mm -hmm. right. Jermaine right. to the community. Okay, okay. Man, so that's great. Okay. 
But do, do you have it? What do you, do you have anything in order that's We're already doing it. We walked the block program painting the utility boxes. Forget about what you're already doing. You need to have a plan. If you want to keep doing that, that would but be part of your yeah. plan. I would, I would move. I'm not. I'm not discounting. Okay. Okay. What I would do is I would move the, this money that's here in. Forget about the money. Forget about the money. We're not talking about money. We're talking about your goals for the year. Money will come after this. Okay? Goals. Go. I need the outreach.
two town halls total, or each committee does? I think each committee should facilitate a dialogue. Maybe let's do one, okay? One work committee. So how many committees you can have? I'm just trying to stop that. Yeah, yeah, that's many. So I think um, that's, that's more than one month. That's an awful lot. Uh, no, we don't have that many. I mean, I don't think we have a dozen standing committees, right? I think I have uh, Well, 11, but there's like the standing rooms one, and then yeah. the, uh, yeah, I mean, so the bylaws is another Yeah, we, we do them, that's kind of, uh, my recommendation is one and a quarter, because it takes a lot of time putting them together, publicizing them, getting them, you know. I think you start with one and a quarter and see how it goes. And then we have more than committees that overlap, that look at the same, issue right have them partnered together right and that will help to be able to one carry the load among more members of the board mm -hmm. but then also to get more people to come out because one person may be public safety you know all about public safety as a stakeholder but then they look at oh i never thought about how my use interacts with public safety so those are things that you could have those two committees together when you use public safety and let me just throw in an objective well quote unquote peaceful moment here I think also members of the board, there should be some sort of training on facilitating dialogue. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times there's when it comes to I used to do workshops and that's why I like that right job, a marvel education curriculum. And there's a science to facilitate. Mm -hmm. How you set up your room, for example, so you're creating the creating the structure for inclusiveness. We can that's how we can yes. do that. I mean, yes. I, Right. Right. And, and, and I'm using this here because you know I'm using this and I'm being objective here. I'm, I'm watching the dialogue here, right? And for example, um, sometimes you may have two two facilitators, for example, may have a different style, right. and sometimes they don't match, you know, mm -hmm. you know, in, in in passing. And sometimes you know, most people may not may not. You're think absolutely exactly. right. Exactly. And so you yeah. really. In order, you can you can take a great town hall meeting, and it's not prop. You can turn it into the greatest parent, but a, a facilitator, a person who's facilitating, who's not ready or or trained, and right. do it properly, could just turn something that could have a lot of problems into something that's not not Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Now, some of the solutions. Let's move on to the next part. Uh, some of the big solutions. Uh, one, would, we have a big goal of getting communities to work together. What are some of the solutions to be able to? facilitate that. Yes. For example, this this yeah, use of yeah. well, that's gotta be proactive here, okay? Yeah. Um, for example, you have the Ron Seals Hillside owners group and you have um, Hillside Villas. You have from certain acres of El Serena, okay? You have community groups within the community. So we I think every once in a while the neighborhood council could do is if these groups have the meeting times once a month then start the interaction, for example, Hillside Village meets once a month at Absolute Toy on Valley Boulevard. It behooves us to go over there and get involved in their dialogue, in their little micro little community, and likewise, maybe develop something so that these, these various entities within the community are actually meeting, maybe on a quarterly basis, just say, hey, we're gonna take various community groups, let's bring them together, and just have a round table discussion. Exactly. Are you guys doing that right now? I attend all of those meetings. And then and then and then is the neighborhood council sponsoring a quarterly uh, meeting to have all the community groups come together to see what the common issues are, what the common successes are, to introduce each other to each other, So, because you're all neighbors. Uh, yeah. We don't have that yet, okay. but that's a great idea. That, that is one of the big solutions. That is how you will get the communities to work together, is by introducing all of them to each other. Uh, in our neighborhood council, we had where two of our neighborhoods, the elementary schools that are in those areas are Title I. We know what Title I is? Okay, so we have Title I, but then we also have, as Mr. Chavez has said before, we have more higher net worth stakeholders, so to speak. We brought them together and they found a common ground and were able to work together to make it a better community across the board. So that's one thing that works very well. And you already have one group, two groups here, correct? Right? Oh, you're all one group, okay. We have the two groups, we have the historical society group. All right, so you have that. There's three. Well, and the coordinating council. Well, there you go. Now, after this outreach. Oh, 
Oh, and then. Uh, Do we have their phone numbers? Do we have their email addresses? Do we? Sir? Do, do we? Do you guys have each other's email address so that you guys can no. coordinate? Okay. There's the sheet that went around. Is your email and name on there? Yes. And also, uh, yes. that you, which group I you're with? Yeah. Great. So that's one thing. That's a big solution that will solve one of your goals is to get that going. And I find out quarterly. Having it every month, people are busy, but having it quarterly helps them to start having that dialogue. So that's one. So, so we created an enablement committee and it's made up of representatives from all the different homeowners associations. So we bring them all together. And, 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 huh? But that's how we're doing. No, 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 we're no, bringing them together so that they can talk. We're saying, guys, all come together. What's going on in your community? What's going on in your community? What's going on? Can I hear there are issues germane to that that don't really get addressed because many people who are on that, like take for instance in LA 32, in, in the Hillside Village. How many people who live in Hillside Village are on the, on the LA 32? You know? Zero. At one time, there was a big number. At one time. Well, there was. And, yes, and we but want to get that They left. Back. Why? Because they were defranchised. They were just some franchise Right. All right. Well, 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 this is how we're going to bring it together. Yeah, we're what I'm saying, I'm just much. simply saying is that. Be careful to go out there. You know, you know the, LA 30, the uh, Hillside Village Homeowner Association, of which I'm not a part of, so I'm going to tell you that right now. But I do know a lot of people. I know a lot of they operate. They've been, they've been around for years. I just say, just walk friends. They don't want to interrupt their autonomy. And, and but that's not what we're asking. We're asking to come together and be able to talk and have a dialogue okay. and get you guys all to work together. That's yeah, what we're looking at. Okay, that's all I'm just. And it's a two-way thing. We say, what are your problems? Can we help address some of them? And we also say, these are some things that many community is doing. Would you spread the word back to your people? You know, it's a two-way dialogue. You know, it's a conduit. On this question there, uh, there was many people from the Hillside Village and also you from the Montgomery Park. There was a lot of people involved at one time. And it was a very good program to see everybody was in unison together. And then things got pulled away and became Independent of each other. And I'm actually, sure we're at the LA 32 neighborhood council was formed by the majority of people in Hillside Village. Right? I mean, that's where it that's where it started because mm -hmm. you know, but that was uh, that's a good story. So this is one of the goals here is to bring you guys back okay. into it. Yes. Right. There are gonna be elections coming up and you should put together some candidates to run. Put a slate together. Put 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 some people to run. Okay. I, I think you should be the past. Well, this is like a new beginning. I mean Yes. Like a lot of new board members. I know some oh, some people that live in the South Village that are willing to be active if they see a positive how they care too. Well, the first thing is to have the dialogue. Because if you guys don't talk to each other, right. it's not going to happen to be effective. We so we right. meet okay. with communities. And who would be handling it? Would that be the outreach? Okay. No, it should be the um, uh, Area director, the zone reps, or whatever you call them. The area directors. The area directors for each area. The other chief or they have to have somebody, have somebody have oversee it, and that's where the outreach committee can help okay. start spearheading. Okay. So I would have it at your next meeting. I would put it on the agenda as an outreach plan for the neighborhood council to reach out to these other homeowner associations, community block clubs. To be able to at least just get them together and have it almost like a mixer mingle, right. so to speak. That's where you start. So that's the one. Um, increase non English speaking uh, stakeholders to participate at your meetings and within the neighborhood council. How can we accomplish that? What do you suggest? Well, okay. There's, there's people that have comment that three hours. That's the longest yes. time. Okay. I can be doing that. They need to be I don't know if there's a way with the sure. meeting. Sure, the meetings don't have two meetings in a month. I don't. Yes. That's what I've been hearing. Have you guys ever worked with a consent calendar? Uh, we're still very. Okay. Well, what a consent calendar does is it, it groups items together that just basically, like uh, your. Um, okay. Well, they don't want a consent calendar. That's your particular name. No, no, no. no. All right. Um, <laughs> what? What? I mean, um, this is for example, uh, today's uh, meeting. We have it's executive board, it's, it's general board, it's yeah. executive committee. Right. I mean, budget, we, I mean, the budget committee, that committee meeting should have been on its own just to, I mean, it's great that stakeholders are here to get input. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's a beast to try to do the, the budget and the allocate and all that. Right. And, and we're doing, trying to do all of that plus other items. 
do for like the executive committee, so currently, so okay. we're trying to get the budget, so that okay. we can have consensus. So but, but for your meeting, because it sounds like one of the issues which you brought up was that, and also Mr. Chavez brought up that the meetings are way too long, correct? Well, stakeholders. Yeah. Stakeholders, exactly. Yeah. So is there a committee that works on the agenda? The to, executive committee. Well, okay, yes there and no there. Our, our, the meetings are not too long. Three hours is not that long. Yeah. Some people can't make it, they can't be there, but I think okay. three hours is reasonable in a month. And to answer the question, the answer is yes. Because they have children, most of us who have family, you know, like we work, for example, I work full time and I have kids, and you know, my kids have extracurricular activities. A lot of the families here. Right. So why don't we have the executive board address that then and see if there's different options that, so that that will take care of part of it is to get them in because for them, like you said, have some have children, have some have other commitments. I understand it's got it's got that to all the committee meetings that so we're having difficulty with everybody showing up, or is it just for the once a month meeting that we don't want to be every month? Well, that's something we'll have to address. The executive committee I was just gonna say the executive committee can address this I think right. right. you know, usually there's only the one meeting trying to get all the stuff for the whole month for all the committees right. in one meeting. And we usually get through the agenda. It's just that, you know, I don't know if people are willing to meet, plus their committee meetings, plus the other four meetings, plus the homeowners association meetings. I mean, that have meetings. But my impression was with the committee meeting, you do all the place paperwork and all the planning and all that, you just bring it to board so that you can Correct. vote. So then we're missing something in the committee meetings because it seems that we're coming to board and we're still discussing a lot of the matters. That's a good point. If I may, I know Mr. Chuck says to handle. You know, what happens is, in these meetings, the Wednesday meetings... The executive uh, committee or the, the board? The board meeting, and even this one, because it happened just now. You notice how I was speaking and how I got interrupted, and how well, very professional, he cut me off, and I respected that? Well, that's what needs to go on, and it doesn't happen, okay? And, and that's how, how those meetings... Uh, last long because people just go on and on and on with their answers. And then another person comes up, biggie packs, biggie packs of however that word you want to kind of say. Behind that person, another long answer. And let me tell you, next thing you know, it's nine o'clock and they're kicking us out. Okay, so that's one of the things that can be taken care of. After she the handles it very well. Just like you saw how she handled me a moment ago, I still have more to go. But I respected her because she's the president. Doesn't make a difference. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Right. But we have actually our goals. I mean, our agendas have it's gotten a little better, so we're working on it. But it's one of we just got a big giant clock that we can, you know, we're timing it. Right. Really well, well, it sounds like three of these issues can be taken care of at the executive okay. committee level. So that's what we'll look at for the big solution. It sounds like meeting with the community is the first step for the outreach plan to get the relationships going and the partnerships going. Okay. And hopefully that that can be accomplished because even sitting together by the region has been a struggle <laughs> at the board level. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh well, this is the South region. You guys need to sit like here. And you, no, but I want you to hear because I want to chat with this guy. You know, that's a good stuff. You guys have a side seat. <laughs> side no, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> so if the if a community member board. came and said, oh, I live in the North region. Oh, those three guys right there are the ones who are. Uh, that voted in for this north region, uh -huh. and they will know who they are, and then they can go to them and say, you know, so what? What is this board doing? We're not doing that. You know, nobody knows who you represent or what yeah, place region. Or, yeah, not, yeah. Not even that. Okay, that you should be a media. Place card. Media, a place card, so that everybody knows who is everybody. Right. Okay. Would these be uh, pre-made, like actually? Yeah. Pre at Staples, they have the, the tents. I created tents. Yeah, do it that way. Okay. So I think what we'll do now, Terrence, is that we will direct you to the budget. We can start with it. I know you're going to work with We work with this continuously. Yes. So I think right now the important thing is getting this. So we have three. But you have, you have some major goals that you actually yes. identify. We actually, outreach will be looking at setting up a plan for to be with the communities. We got the executive board taking care of the other issues, so segue right into the budget then. Okay. So everybody have a copy of the draft budget here? 
support the members on the budget. Tioli Garcia, Angelica, Cami, and Cancel. Okay, perfect. So this part of the meeting is basically just the budget. Yes, the budget the committee. Other, the other in charge. Do public stuff, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can we segue into the budget committee meeting now? Okay. Yes. Can you give me a time on that, please? It is. 7.30. Do you guys know what your fixed costs are for operations? Um, Is that usually the easiest one to start with? Well, well right. hang, well, hang on. on. The first cost is a minimum of thirty-seven hundred dollars for election. So that has How much? Thirty-seven hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you have to done it. Uh, okay. so is you requesting very strongly a minimum, a minimum of thirty-seven hundred dollars for your elections. And that's mostly for outreach. Uh, you right. also need to add in another two hundred dollars for food for the election staff. All right, five thousand. That's what they had allocated last year. All right, well that, that's fine. Right. But I'm saying I, I'm just trying to give you what, what the stuff you need to do. Okay. You need to include a couple hundred dollars for. Um, so thirty-seven hundred dollars uh, for elections. To feed the volunteers that are running elections. For refreshments. If you have to pay for a facility. Facility, yes. Yeah, no. that. Oh, it will be covered in our facilities related to space rental. Okay, and then, and then any other separate them out. Yeah, it's more action. Okay, so it's, okay, so yeah, yeah, separate them. Um, and you have a, a quick chat about. Is um, that um, how much the senior center? Seventy dollars for regular meetings, and then like hundred dollars. No, for the election, Scott and John, it's about hundred dollars. Hundred dollars, okay. Okay. Uh, you you need um, uh, to talk about what kind of flyers, uh, you know, how much publicity you're going to do. That should be part of the thirty-seven hundred. Okay. But make sure that that's enough. Which okay. is why we had put. I put five thousand based okay. on what last year. All right. The, we had plenty of money. The last piece of it is you're going to have some events. You should probably have, well, you certainly have to have a candidate orientation. That may happen regionally, or you may want to do it on your own. You have to include in this your board orientation. And if you want the manuals together again, you need a little bit of money to that afterwards. Um, that's all part of the election thing. Okay. If you had any other no, event, that, that won't happen because the board will be seated in the no, 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 it's a new, it's a new, uh, no, not if the election is in March. You've been telling June this whole time. No, I never said June. I said March. They haven't given us a date. They haven't given them a date. They but that needs to be included in the, that's how, that's how it was set So we yeah. allocated 5000 based on last year's uh, election, and we had plenty of money. Okay, okay. 32000 But I wanted to ask, so last year for the election, we did not send out mailers. Um, the neighboring, neighborhood council, Lincoln Heights, they sent out mailers, and that was, that was a great idea. But somebody said we did not have enough money to do that? Mm -hmm. Do we know how much it would cost to send out mailers? Can we allocate money to send out mailers to everybody? Yeah. 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 it's very expensive to send out mailers. Like how much? Very expensive. 45000 Think about it. Right. Well, how many? Wait, wait, wait. $10,000? No. No, no, no. I know. Find us a... Oh, yeah, what? Oh, what? Cynthia's yeah. got the floor. Hang on. Wait till Cynthia's done. If you can find us already, a uh, place that's already done it, and it can help us. Yeah, that's what we're trying to We went to the post office after the night last year, and we went and we had those numbers given to us, and they were quite expensive. Okay. Like $10,000. Right, it was wait, just wait. before. You can do direct door mail. Oh, okay. Door to door mail. It's the ones that they need. Okay. The, the, what the, what the, it said when, the, when, when you have it? <laughs> this is through the post office. Okay. They, you know, if you ever get mail that says postal customer and then it has your address, they have the address of every they have every address in the city. Okay. You give them your zip code and the printer puts that on there. The printer has these lists and they put it on there. We did a mailer. We basically copied the stuff on the Dunn website, which was, we had everybody's negative uh, candidate statement with their picture, 
You know, we sent it out to every household. You know. How many people do you have in Hamilton? We have about, well, it, it, it's not how many people, it's how many households. There's a difference. It's how many addresses. So you need to find that out. I, I don't know what so, I have here. So like, and hang on, hang, hang on a minute. And the best thing about this, if you do walking man, and you get to a park, if you have a lot of apartments here, they drop the whole thing for they, or they don't do it. This goes in your mailbox. They deliver it, so it, get, it gets through those barriers that you have in the security buildings or things like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, that's that's Mr. Chavez goes first. Segue into help in having the uh, council office work with this because they get their own voter list. And that's great. Right. Well, we have to. Well, Mr. Well, Chavez, the printers have these. Give me a second. I Mr. Chavez had a comment. You know, I hate to belabor the subject, but this young lady got through talking. You should have waited, recognize me, then give your opinion. You're the, supposed to be the professional here, and you're showing the least. I'm on the professionalism here in terms of advice. See, you're just going to cut me off. I, I well, this is the time to right. address it. I'm not happy with his behavior. Okay. It's very unprofessional, you know. And the other people got right. to talk, and they get to say whatever they want. And that gentleman in the corner talks Can we talk forever, about and no one cuts him off. Can we talk about the postal there? Yeah. Well, that's the subject, but he is prepared for that subject, OK? He's supposed to be advisor, and when his turn comes, he, he goes from his steward, because he's a professional. Thank you, Mr. Chavez. He's been sent from up above. Okay, Tammy? Wait a minute, I haven't I'm said sorry. what I want to say. Okay. That, that was necessary. Okay? I mean, you got the before and the after. Can right there. The postal family? Gentleman right there, super professional. Okay? There's the example. No, it's needed. We it need needs to, to be said. Don't we shut me down. We need to move forward. Yes, but you cannot shut me down when we have a problem. I'm addressing the problem. I have the courage. <coughs> Wait a minute, but I wanted to say, because I said, I know. Okay. Okay? And we got so far away from that. Okay. That man there called, he won't belong here anymore. He's here too long. He's become Chavez, one of us. But he's to, not one of Mr. us. Chavez, are you going to Wait a minute. No, uh, where's I'm the sorry, problem? Mr. Chavez, I can, I, I can step on that, but that doesn't fix the problem. The no, problem still remains. You can remain. discuss that with me later. Thank you. Okay. Next, Look here. I know the answer to the question. Okay. That's what we're waiting for. Okay. We at Lincoln Heights, when I was a board member over there, we handled the uh, elections all the time with the uh, now treasurer. You all probably some of you know who he is, Mr. Sam, whatever, or I forget. Right. I'm not really upset with this gentleman here. He's wrong professional. <clears throat> anyway, it cost about $5,500 for the post office for the LA 90031, which is Lincoln Heights area. How many people was that? Households. Yeah. Households. You know yes, right, it's what the mailman goes to every house and, and delivers that. They do it every single election. They mail it out. That's the biggest expense that they have. And then the rest of the money, because they have hills like we have hills here. Nobody wants to walk the hills. When I did the thing for Mr. Weezer, when he was running for elections, I walked the hills with the flyers. And let me tell you, it's a pain in the neck. And if you're going to deliver these flyers for our elections, nobody wants to walk those things. Right, but we need to come up with a cost to see if the Budget and Finance Committee will approve it. Well, you have about 10000 bucks for the uh, thing, for the elections to start with. We have to allocate that. Uh, Tommy was first. Tommy was first. No, no one. Okay. Madam Chair, I would recommend we leave the 5000 allocation. It serves two purposes. It gives us an adequate amount of money to conduct the election. Also, any leftover money can be used as a reserve fund for any unexpected contingencies that pop up. Um, as we, the last, um, one of the last budget meetings we had, we talked about a contingency when we were trying to allocate the rest of our funds. I think here, I think for the second discussion now, I think we leave as is and then let the, when we get close to election time, it'll be an election committee in panel to carry that out and that gives them an adequate amount of funding set aside already and then any leftover could be used for any other contingency. Right, I, right. Think right, I think right now for the sake of time, let's not get too much into specific, let's agree that an amount is an adequate amount for this budget and then also. Well, are you talking about which or without the mailers? 
Um, you know, I, I think I think here for the sake of discussion that we're not the election is still a pending issue, maybe maybe six months from now when we're getting toward the process. I think mailers are a good idea, but I think um, there should be a committee and panel to get more specific on the issue. And I think because our agenda here, we're already close to what time? Okay. You're right. So I think I think for the sake of of moving the agenda along, we leave the five thousand at a, at this, and and know for the record that any any leftover funding we use as a form of contingency fund for any unexpected expenditure that we may incur for the fiscal year. Well, you can actually change the budget like, as you start moving okay. forward. You're absolutely right. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm considering that in the night comments. So the question was, and Lincoln Heights, is there $5,500 Mr. Travis? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank
this is not just about what the president Biden is doing in terms of, of all the paperwork. I mean, we just experienced uh, Mick and Cynthia, we just experienced the same with the treasurer. You know, he was put in, trying to put together everything for last minute. He has a job. He has a place to be, place to be at. He can't be running around trying to get signatures and receipts and invoices. If we had somebody, that somebody would be at a place where we can take everything, get everything done, have it, the packets to him, have him review it, and do whatever needs to be done. You know? so, you, so in other words, you're looking at somebody like from Apple One to be able to do somebody, somebody, okay. in well, well, somebody that, that. Well, well, no. Every account yeah. can only hire Apple One so if you're going to pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's the city measure, yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, I, I know um, Cynthia has said um, that we committed to this and we all get committed to a grant, but not at a full time job. You know, we all have, what you said, we all have lives, we have jobs, we have kids, we have other engagements, you know, um, part of the other programs. So, you know, it, it, it should be a part time job, less than a part time job, because this is volunteer work. So, you know, we shouldn't have high expectations for money, which is not even paid for. Volunteer. Okay, so hiring somebody else to help her. I'm sorry for that. But that's what I was saying about committee, though. If it's done at committee, there won't be all of that. At the but end. but let me let me give you an example this year. Before for the treasurer part of it, I did a lot of the treasurer stuff helping Anthony because he works a lot of hours. So it was between him and I and getting temp people to the second signatory. I mean, at all odd hours of the nights and evenings. It, it, you know, if we had someone to just do the record. I don't know. I don't know how it does and allow us to hire someone from. Yes. Give me one sec. I just want to make sure. And you were Sam. You were the treasurer. As the former treasurer, yeah. I have a little experience in this, and um, this is something that I I wish I probably would have uh, pushed for when I was treasurer because it is a lot of work, even just for the treasurer, not the president and the treasurer, or you know. Uh, so I think that it's a valid. It's probably something good to have as a line item in the budget in case you need it. Dunn has a list of approved uh, temporary yeah, lines. Right. Uh -huh. So, the yeah, they have their own. So, you know, that's really easy to hook into that. I'm not done. <laughs> um, there, there is a separate line item for translation. So, if you want to get an, an, uh, transcription, so maybe whatever you want to spend to translate the minutes. Well, go usually, there. translation doesn't do. No, but it says transcription. You, you're, think, you're saying that it's uh, just usually when they come in and do the Spanish translation. Correct. Spanish or now it sounds like we need Chinese or. Is it the Spanish? Are we going to disenfranchise them or are we going to bring them I'm going to bring them I, I, also, I also don't feel that the administrative uh, expense that you have here is a lot compared to what we've done in the past. I mean, we cut it down during my term a lot, and I, I think this is pretty neat as it is, so I think it's, it's good to have something there. But I also don't see anything under facilities, and I was wondering if um, you're not going to find anything. Yes. No, no, the facilities oh. is the, the rental, the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, for the for the, the senior center, you guys have your device. That's why I would move money. I would move at least a okay, thousand dollars like, from the twenty five hundred yeah. up to so the big zeros that was as facilities because we need to pay the monthly senior center faculty fees. Oh, that's right. We do. We need. Yeah. Which? Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Alhambra Avenue didn't have a closet party. Uh, but she would have to figure that out. We would be lucky to have one. And, and the other thing uh, I wanted to mention is that I had the same kind of idea when, uh, last, when I was on the board to bring somebody in to assist not just the executive board, but every committee, every committee ch a chair, at the end of their meeting, they have a lot to do. You know, they need assistance in maybe, you know, making copies or even writing a, a flyer for that matter, you know. Uh, but that really would help people getting their their committees, um, you know, uh, moving along. So I, I, I do recommend that. Okay. I have two questions, sir. I would like for you to elaborate a little bit more in terms of what the NC is allowed to pay, uh, because I understand that we're not allowed to pay for labor, only for articles, whether they're from vendors or from wherever, if they're articles and they're approved by finance, exec, and the board and all that, fine. If you can elaborate more, and how much are we allowed to spend for office space? Because I remember in the past, uh, for Dunn, I think Dunn was allowing a certain percentage of your entire budget. This one we had the fifty thousand. Correct. Okay, to spend at any NC to spend a certain amount of that for office space only. You know, so maybe if you can elaborate and educate us on that, please. Ask what it was. 